Welcome back for book 18. Okay, so here's where I'm gonna be really honest. I haven't read a thing in the last week. Actually, 10 days. I kind of just took this total break, but that's okay. I'm ready to get back to it. I'm starting a new book tonight. I'm really excited about it. So, book 18. Daring Greatly by Brené Brown. I know there's a theme going on here. I keep reading her books and they keep tearing out my soul in a good way. This was a really outstanding book. I'm going to give this one an absolute 100% 10 out of 10. And I think the number one way you can tell that with a book, as I've told you guys before, is that I um, fold over the bottom of the pages if it's good. This book is full of them. Like, it was hard to figure out what I wanted to even read and talk about with you guys today. So, this is all about how the courage to be vulnerable can transform the way we live, love, parent, and lead. The big V word. Not that one. The other one. Vulnerability. So actually just allowing yourself to be vulnerable, stepping into your vulnerability and is something that I'm a really, really big believer in. I think that the more I share my story, the more I tell my story, the less shame there is around it, the less power it has in my life. But also by me being, being able to be vulnerable with other people, it allows them to step up and do the same back. So I kind of have this, like, I'm going to just share everything with the world and see what happens feel about me. But this just put it in a whole new a whole new light and a different perspective. So this was a really cool one. It's a quote that she has, page 133. I remind myself, don't let the perfect be the enemy of good. <laughs> don't we all struggle with that? A 20 minute walk that I do is better than the four mile run that I don't do. The imperfect, imperfect book that gets published is better than the perfect book that never leaves my computer. The dinner party of takeout Chinese food is better than the elegant dinner I never host. So the day that I read this was a day that I felt like scrapping my entire huge background project of writing online courses. And I thought, oh, forget it. It's, they're never going to be good enough. Oh, I know. The enough word that you all know I hate. They're never going to be enough. No one's going to want them. No one's going to buy them. It's just this giant waste of my time and money and energy. And I read that and I was like, no, I have to do this work. I have to do this work. Because I don't know who needs it. And so I have to put that out. So that was a really big one. Another section I absolutely loved was page 176 in Mind the Gap. The disengagement divide. Here's my theory. Disengagement is the issue underlying the majority of, majority of problems I see in families, schools, communi communities, and organizations. And it takes many forms, including the ones we discussed in the Armory chapter. Sorry, you're going to have to read it to find out what that is. We disengage to protect ourselves from vulnerability, shame, and feeling lost and without purpose. We also disengage when we feel like the people who are leading us, our boss, our teachers, our principal, our clergy, our parents, our politicians, aren't living up to their end of the social contract. So, in our world today, where we are all disengaged, how many people here have been surrounded by disengaged people for a really long time? I know I have. It's really, really hard to step up and be vulnerable and it causes more and more disengagement. So what area of your life do you need to be more vulnerable in? Do you need to talk? Do you need to tell your story? Do you need to actually step up and say, you know what, I'm feeling disconnected and get engaged? So this book, um, yeah, read it. Okay, that's it. Read this book. It is an absolute mind show. Like it's a gong show. It totally is in terms of like it challenges you and it shakes you up and it breaks your brain in ways you never thought could happen, but it also will cause more growth than you could possibly imagine. So, Darren Greatly, Brenny Brown, come back for book 19. It was a gooder. <laughs>